anything All the things that I have learned Were just lies I overheard And sure, I, I'm kinda smart now But the system's set up so that I can't ever really know We, we don't know anything My name's Justin Smith Welcome to San Francisco. Oh my God, I, now I'm I always starting to feel like a total weirdo. Okay, we only took three. I was like, I was like, I can do this. There's no problem. I do this. Every Hi. So I tell people uh, that I do music, art, and film. As a DJ producer, I go by Citizen 10. As a rapper, MC, I go by the Zap Tap. Ooh, I'm trying to pull you out your comfort zone. Welcome to Thunderdome, it doubles as my summer home. As a visual artist, I go by Lil Zen 10. Yo, yo, as a filmmaker, I go by Justin Alexander Twan Smith. I should just probably just narrow it down to like less than mine, just J. I'm gonna just go by J in the future, but anyway. I started playing violin when I was like two and a half years old and continued to play classical music uh, throughout the first half of my life. So technically, music and art were the first things. So I had always been illustrating my whole life in an elementary school. Like I was the kid who'd like, give me a dollar and I'll draw you your favorite sports figure. The way I got into DJing was I tried to mix two records and I was like, what is this foreign? wizardry i don't get it bizarrely mechanically mathematically one of the harder things i've ever learned to do and then i became obsessed with it i think what drew me into like hip-hop was the the attitude and like the the i don't give a fuckedness about both of them my painting came out of graffiti and out of like this new wave of like street art finding its way into the galleries like art of all of the things that creatively that I do, art is the hardest. Art is actually technically the like the the elephant in the room for me. Um, and I'm judging myself, going, "That is not that detailed. That's so easy." Yet I still do it, and I'm I'm down. It's cool, but it's not like it's not like I'm like I did it. It's more like I I did it. That's cool. That's fun. That's fun. But it's not like my my best piece and it very rarely is and there's a, there there's a pain in there that that that's painful for me as i got older i would always revisit comic books and it, it had been something i've been running from and wanted to do my whole life um and being like i could i could maybe do this and then i'd sit down and about three pages in and 15 panels in i'm like i can't do this this is this is this is bullshit. this is taking all my time away i can't go whatever the hell and um finished the first issue of cave boys and then i kind of debuted a little like pro demo version of the comic book um great response and then i never revisited it <laughs> and then i and, and that was it just kind of sitting there a lot of me exploring the things is also to check it off the list and so i can be like okay i i I did this one thing for a while. I feel content filling that void, moving on to like more pressing matters, but um, always felt kind of unfulfilled in both music and visual arts, just wasn't enough. And somewhere along the lines, I realized that movies were the way for me to combine like the vibey aspect of the music that I wanted to make and the narrative that I was attempting to tell in my visual art, but couldn't with a single image. And so the natural progression was uh, film. Juggling these things at sometimes, you know, can be a form of escapism for me. And to be quite honest, when I'm focused on one project, I give that, you know, 110%. And then let's say I have a bad day and that kind of changes my focus and my emotions. Then luckily I have another project that will benefit from that changed emotion or feeling so i'm really lucky this is not an anomaly in my creative uh endeavors it's like um my intentions are usually very concrete and it's like i want to make this series and what 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 oops i just made a rap album 
and now I gotta follow this white rabbit. Um, at any point in time, people might think like, oh, he's got four projects. I got like 14 projects going on. And there's always this moment for me where I'll pull the trigger on something that I was like holding so preciously. Oh, I'm gonna work on this comic for four years. It'll be a 10 episode, whatever. And then three years later, because I've been working on other stuff, kind of jumping around, I go, f it, put it out, whatever. I can be happy and proud with three out of 14 projects seeing the light of day. I joke to my friends that I'm 12 years behind schedule, but that's okay because I do also luckily believe that age is just the number and, and uh, you're as old as you feel and, and I do, I'm, I'm young as fuck. If I didn't have the creative arts, I don't, you don't, we don't wanna know what would be, what this would be. The best thing about juggling the things um, are these are the things I love, you know what I mean? Like this is, I get to live a life that I have chosen. I'll say it like this, um, young me, young me is stoked. I'm like, cool, wow, okay, we did it. We did some shit. Um, old me is really excited to like get to work and like crank out some like bangers, film, whatever, whatever, life bangers. <laughs> People always tell me, um, I wanna learn how to play the violin. Okay, are you prepared to literally be the worst violin player for like a good three years on a daily basis and sit there and work through that pain and anguish because it's not good? You have to start somewhere and you have to fight through the worst part of it. You have to earn being good at a thing. And I don't think people get that part of it. And if you don't, meet your own approval then you're not good to yourself yet and so you got to keep working and i think for me it's more like a like a like a fight with myself and and if i can like beat myself then i'm cool